Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and it is that time of year again. I'm starting to go through the upcoming year of gear and I've just uploaded a huge full length video looking at the full Ibanez catalog. Now it's a long video and I appreciate that not everybody is gonna wanna watch a full video like that. So I thought I'd shoot a secondary video where I just point out my top five new guitars for 2020 from Ibanez. So each of these guitars is new or available in a new finish, I should point that out. And of course, huge thanks goes out to Ibanez for sending me this catalog nice and early. Uh, this video isn't paid in any way, but I do appreciate them supporting the channel uh, and giving me things that I can talk about because this is stuff that I genuinely get very excited about. Right, so when we look at these, it's worth pointing out that each of these does have a price listed with them. That's listed in UK pounds, uh, so you can do relevant conversions to your currency if needs be. But it's worth pointing out, I was told by Ibanez, that these prices are in their catalogue. Having said that, they are subject to change, so don't you know base your decisions on whether or not you're going to purchase something uh, based on your your budget, just purely on the price, because these these probably will fluctuate probably a, a little bit. But anyway, let's get on with them. So in at number five, this is probably, well, this is definitely the most cost-effective guitar on the list. It's the RG421 MSP. Classic Ibanez, classic uh, name that everyone will remember. <laughs> uh, the reason I picked this guitar is very, very simple. I love this guitar because I love the finish on it. It's a turquoise sparkle, and I love a sparkle finish. And I think the uh, the maple fretboard on this against that sp uh, sparkle finish is really, really cool. Um, and a very cheap guitar as well, so this is obviously budget friendly. Uh, having said that, it has that that bridge on it. I'm looking, uh, it doesn't tell me on the, uh, oh sorry, it's the F106 bridge. That bridge is a lot more appealing to me than the Gibraltar bridge. I'm going to talk about the Gibraltar bridge on some of the other guitars. I'm not crazy on the Gibraltar bridge. Uh, of course, the F106 isn't my ideal bridge, but I think I would prefer the feel of that under my hand than the Gibraltar. So definitely not a bad guitar, a beautiful looking guitar, and yeah, uh, one that I'm definitely interested in checking out myself. Now, moving on, this is a, a slightly different guitar, slightly different. Uh, it's the RGIB21. So this is a baritone. It's the Iron Label series baritone. This is a new model for 2020, though. Ibanez, of course, have had a, a baritone RG in the past. Uh, well priced, but around the £700 mark. And the reason I picked this guitar is because I love baritone guitars. Uh, obviously, I play a lot of country music, and baritone guitars are quite common in country music. They have uh, a very unique sound to them that comes from that scale length, a 28 inch scale. You would think that, well, I could just play these parts on a seven string guitar, but the seven string guitars are often around the 27 inch scale. Um, so the strings, they sound a little different. They sound very different on a baritone, very, very tight sounding, a lot of bass out of a baritone guitar. So huge fan of baritones, and it's nice to see that Ibanez is still offering people that option. Now, it does have that Gibraltar bridge on it, which is maybe a little bit less than ideal. Having said that, though, it does come with EMG pickups, which is a very, very nice touch. Uh, I would have expected a baritone, obviously quite a, not, not a risk to release a baritone, but probably not going to be one of the biggest sellers of the years. So to put, you know, some premium level pickups in there, instead of opting for cheaper pickups and selling it at a cheaper price, we'll see how that pays off for them. Uh, I hope it does well though and I hope some of you guys do go out this year and check out baritone guitars. Honestly they are wonderful. So the next model is the RG6 PP BFX. Another wonderful name right? <laughs> uh, so there are a bunch of new RGs this year as you would expect. The RG is very much one of Ibanez's flagship models. Uh, to me, probably their most iconic model. Uh, I grew up playing guitars like the RG550s and the PGMs, so I love the RG, always have loved the RG, and I picked this one because I love, love, love the finish, the tropical seafloor finish. And it's not just the tropical seafloor finish, which is really nice, but the bare knuckle aftermath pickups in there that have that kind of like corroded, spilled oil look to them. And it really helps them sort of blend in with that finish. Uh, this has the mono rail bridge on it. 
which is a vast improvement to me over the Gibraltar Bridge. Uh, again, not the hugest fan of the Gibraltar Bridge. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely interested in checking this guitar out. I can't see anything wrong with this guitar. I like everything about it. The volume knob is out of the way. The pickup selector switch is out of the way. This is a very, very cool guitar. And, yeah, pretty reasonable price and some very, very nice specs on it. And I'm, uh, I often talk about how much I like the premium range of Ibanez. I love the name premium. It implies quality, even though it's actually one of them. It's essentially their cost effective, their economy version of the high end guitars. It's the economy version of the prestige, if you like. So, yeah, really, really interested in checking that guitar out. Now, number two, this one's a little bit different. Uh, so uh, many of you know Ibanez have a long history of signature models with some of the best guitarists in the world, of course, but they also maintain a roster of some of the best jazz guitar players in the world, right? Uh, Pat Metheny played, well, still plays Ibanez, John Schofield, big Ibanez user, and over the years there have been many other great jazz guitar players, even Joe Pass at one point having the Ibanez JP20. Uh, well, this year, George Benson has released a new model with Ibanez, and this is the GB10EM. So, as you can see from this, this is extremely cost effective. This is sub £600. Now, when you compare that to the other George Benson models available, this is a steal. It's a great, great deal. If you are a fan of a particular artist and you want their signature model, there's nothing more soul-destroying than the only way you can do that is spending several thousand pounds, right? Now, I'm sure George isn't going to be out playing this guitar, but if you are a George Benson fan and you like that feeling of playing something inspired by or designed by your hero, I think offering that as an option to people is a nice touch. And there have been times in my life where I've wanted a George Benson model. And it's nice to see that, you know, the, the younger player with a smaller budget uh, or the more inexperienced player that doesn't want to commit as much money to their gear, they are being catered to. So I think this is very, very cool, very nice touch from Ibanez, and uh, it didn't quite make my number one spot of the year, but yeah, bravo, uh, huge bravo to, to Ibanez on that one. Uh, okay, so the number one, as I say, um, this one is a new finish rather than a all-out new model. And the guitar is the AZ242. Now, the AZ242 this year does have actually a kind of new spin on the model um, with slightly, very slightly different specs uh, and a different finish on it. But actually, I like this, the AZ242 uh, in seafoam green matte. I absolutely love seafoam green. I've always been a fan of seafoam green. Some of you in the past may have seen I used to own a seafoam green Telecaster, a thin line Telecaster, and I bought that just because I love seafoam green. So to see this, uh, the AZ model, which is becoming Ibanez's you know, flagship model now, uh, this is such a great model, it's such a great design on this guitar, and to be able to get that in this ultra cool finish is very, very exciting to me. Uh, and yeah, part of this, I think maybe when looking at the picture, they've got a great fretboard on this one. And I say great to me, it looks dirty. It looks aged. It, seafoam green guitars to me often look uh, and fit in line with that kind of shipwrecked look. And this currently has that. So you're going to want to look at, you know, the particular one that you're buying because the fretboard, the roasted maple fretboard may look very different to that. But this particular one looks absolutely fabulous. And at £1,139, this is one that I'm seriously, seriously fighting the urge to pick up myself because it's beautiful and it has a tremolo. I don't own any guitars with tremolos. Uh, it's either between this one and the uh, the Eric Hansel model, the EH10, which came out last year. But I don't know. This AZ, it's, it's really doing things for me. I really, really dig this. I do feel when looking at it, when compared to the RG that we looked at earlier, uh, the, the volume knob may be a little bit close to the strings for my personal, you know, shred technique tastes, uh, but still, 
absolutely stunning guitar and Ibanez I think you've absolutely knocked it out of the park with that so bravo again another huge bravo from me uh, but what do you guys think you know have you watched my full length video looking at the new Ibanez catalogue is there anything in there that you think is a particular winner did you think anything on this list was a winner please do let me know in that comment section below and let me know about your purchase habits your purchase plans for the upcoming year lastly I just want to say a huge thanks to my supporters over on Patreon or some of my supporters over on Patreon. Uh, you can support me for as little as a dollar, but, you know, if you want to get your name on that credits list, you can do so for 10 bucks. And, uh, yeah, great way to support the channel. And I'd mentioned this in the previous video, but, you know, you guys are the reason I can do videos like this. Ibanez don't send me their catalogs early because they, they're interested in my opinion, right? Ibanez send me their catalogs early because they value, you know, putting that stuff in front of people like yourselves. So it's from your support, it's it's you guys rallying around the content I'm making that uh, makes brands take me a little bit more seriously and allow me to make content like this for you. So a huge thank you to you guys. And also, I should just make mention, please do check me out on Amazon. Have a look for Levi Clay, you will find one of my many books. And uh, yeah, lots of Amazon bestsellers on there. So check them out, I'm sure you'll find something you will enjoy. Right. That's me. So you can check me out on Patreon by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe by clicking this button down here and you will see two more of my videos here and here. Thank you so much for all of your support. Looking forward to a wonderful 2020 with you guys. Gonna be making a ton of videos. So I'll let you get on and I'll see you soon. Laters.